When it comes to the UFC, no fighter, no fighter, not even close, garners more attention than your boy Hamza Jamaya. I mean, we see this on our own channel. People are commenting like crazy, want to know when is he returning. Others are saying he shouldn't return yet. He's got to get, you know, physically and mentally healthy. But how long can that last? How long can we keep going through this with Hamza? Oh, he'll fight later in the year. Oh, he'll fight next year. He'll fight a year from now, eight months from now. The prime window for a fighter doesn't last that long. I mean, you're talking like you enter the prime at like 27, 28 years old. By the time you hit 34, 35, which is right about where McGregor is at, you start to fall off quickly. So even if you fight twice a year, you got 10 fights in your prime, max. If Hamza keeps this up, he's going to get like five or six in his prime. The time is now. He's in the prime window. He's ready to roll. And he keeps having setback after setback after setback. And that can't continue for Hamza. He's got to get himself right. And he's got to get himself into a fight. Now, you've heard me talk about UFC 300. That that would be the, the big opportunity for Hamza to return, right, at UFC 300. But will he be ready in a few months? Does he want to fight someone uh, that isn't a champion? Will they really put him against Leon Edwards after taking away his ranking in the welterweight division? I don't see that happening. I don't see the UFC putting Hamza Chamaev in a title fight in the welterweight division when he missed weight by so much the last time out. But at the same time, what other options do the UFC have right now? John Jones is telling you he's not fighting. You still have Alex Pereira out there, but who will he fight? Who's worthy in that division? Today they announced Yan Jionen versus Zhang Wai Li as one of the title fights, and it's like they the UFC better come big with UFC 300 after talking all this stuff. They better come big, and if they want to come big, they need to find a way to get Hamza on the card. You don't have McGregor. You don't have Islam Mahacha. You might get Leon Edwards, but against who? So the fact is the UFC needs Hamza right now. And it needs to be for a title. If, if he's going to headline this thing, it's got to be for the title. And there's no guarantees that any of this happens. There's no guarantee that he's even ready by then. And the problem, too, is you got Ramadan. Smack in the, you know, you're in the middle of Ramadan when this thing takes place. So, you know, it's becoming more and more unlikely that that's not the best uh, course of action for Hamza. You can't be in the middle of Ramadan fighting for the title. Have other fighters done it? Probably. But you're not going to get the best performance from Hamza if that's the case. So the UFC is going to have to muster up something here. Something big, it tells us to wait. It's going to be big. It's going to be huge. The first fight on the card is going to be bigger than some other pay-per-view fights. All that, you know, and I'm exaggerating a little bit, but this is the talk we're getting from the UFC. So we're all eagerly waiting for that big fight announcement where we're like, whoa, wow, wow. And I have a feeling we're going to be waiting and waiting and waiting and it's never going to come. We might get one good fight. But we want to see a fight like where a Shavkat has a chance at a title against Leon Edwards. We want to see Hamza against Alex Pereira. These are the things we want to see happen because these are two guys that are the future of the sport. But is the time now? Does the UFC rush them in there? Does that make sense? Hamza is also on record as saying, I want to fight for the middleweight title when these two guys are done. And they're not going to be ready to turn things around in three months in 90 days that's not gonna happen so what do you do i don't know i don't know what you do with hamza he's gonna fight wait he's gonna fight wait hold your breath till the end of the night last fight a call ufc at its height yeah bringing that thunder with all his might saying step up, step up, step up. wanna fight uh -huh. hold up Think twice, ah. gladiator assassin, reckless, no abandon. Walk through that cage, he'll leave your ass stranded. Wake up, hey, where you at? Hey, got hit in the head with a baseball bat.